Hello everyone, Andrew here again, welcome back to my channel. So I woke up today to read this new email uh, notifying me about a new comment on my Leadsly beginners tutorial and apparently it's part one of free advertising. So this gentleman, I hope he doesn't mind if I show his details, is asking uh, can you make a video showing how to make a button on a Leadsly page that when it is manually clicked a pop-up with an image pops up with an X to close it, so the X is the X button to close the window. Okay, so the answer to that is yes, and the purpose of this video today is exactly uh, to show this gentleman and anyone else who doesn't know it yet how you can do that. Okay, so let me just go to my Leadsleep account and um, we are gonna take these steps we are gonna create a landing page a form uh, a pop-up using a page manager and pop-up manager and then we are gonna uh, connect both of them the way this gentleman is asking so let me just go to page manager and for the sake of this uh, video i'm gonna uh, create a new campaign and name it a uh, test or manual pop-up whatever you want to name it okay and now all right add a new page to start if you have a share code fine if not click on add a blank page and then launch editor i'm going to choose a, a review page but you can add that button in whatever page you wanna i'm going to get this one here which is very simple and i'm going to assume that you already know how to use the editor which i don't want to get into it to this video because this video is only uh, for that purpose of the question in that comment, all right? So I'm assuming you already know how to edit using Leadsleep. And now, after you have added whatever you want to uh, add on your landing page, it's time to add that button, right? So what you want to do is uh, click on a new row, add a new row if you want, if you will. Click here and then add a button element by clicking right here, okay? this button will appear and for now we are gonna leave it just like this but remember to click on save okay so you want to save your work click ok and now at the moment we are gonna close the launch editor of uh, the page here and we are gonna leave it like this now we are gonna go to pop-up manager over here and create the pop-up that we want to uh, appear after being clicked manually on the button that we added on the landing page right okay so add a new campaign uh, sorry before we get into that please make sure to read this note okay all you have to do is go here on google settings more tools developer tools and uh, check this box here disable cache i'm not going to do that because after this video i'm going to delete this test pages that I'm creating but make sure to uh, click on this and after finishing the pop-up unclick it okay and this is only for the pop-up all right now add a new campaign I'm gonna name it the same test okay add a new form if you have a sharing code okay if not add a new form and uh, launch editor and I'm gonna keep it as simple as possible. So I like the screen fill, the pop-up fills the whole screen, all right? I'm gonna choose this and then go on template, choose one of these templates. Let me just go with, um, I don't know, this one that has a picture, okay? That's it. Now, obviously, I assume that you know that you have to connect this pop-up since, since it has an opt-in form or maybe you can delete the opt-in and choose this one or you can connect it with third-party list manager uh, manager all right but i'm not going to choose any option for now because this is not the point of this video and again i'm assuming you already know how to edit the pop-up which is exactly the same uh, procedure as in page manager and now the most important thing that you want to do is click here the command that uh, the moment that you want the pop-up to appear so click on activate and by default is on exit which means that when someone tries to close the page automatically the pop-up will appear when you scroll down when you scroll to the end of the post etc but what you want to click is this one here manual on click only click it here click on save 
and you are done almost done with the pop-up the last thing remaining is to activate it right away okay then you are gonna go back to page manager in order to connect the pop-up with the page first we are gonna go to this button right here which which is edit so not launch editor at first but this button right here after you entered some tags and whatever you want to name it and if you want you can add an add bar uh, you are going to go to insert a pop-up and you are going to choose obviously the same that you created for this purpose, right? So the test one, I called it. And then click on save, all right? Now, what you want to do is click on launch editor, okay? All right? Click on the button, the one that you want a manual click for pop-up to appear, okay? And then what you want to do is click, click here, button, do what? Select, initiate, pop-up campaign, no opt-in. And then click on save. All right. Close the page and then activate it. That's it. Now, let me refresh, click on page manager and let's test it. If you are a pro member, I suggest you always use premium link because it works better. So let's go here, obviously. Okay, this is a landing page, there is the button, but let's test it for, first. Uh, if I want to uh, close the page, it doesn't show any pop-up. If I scroll down, which uh, I don't have to scroll down, it doesn't show any pop-up either. But if I click here, there you go, there is the pop-up. There is the image, there is the opt-in form, there is the X button to close the pop-up. And if you close it, you can click on it again that's the best way of manual clicking you can click on it again and again and again okay so this is basically it this is how you can create a button then only when click manually a pop-up will appear obviously with images with the axis by default obviously in every pop-up so um Everyone who has the same question as Mr. Um, Mikhail or Michael, I'm sorry, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I hope that this video answers that question. And uh, by the way, uh, feel free to leave um, in the comment section down below this video, feel free to ask any other question regarding Leadslip. If you don't know how to do something, or maybe uh, you missed it or whatever feel free to leave it in the comment section down below and while you at please subscribe to my youtube channel i really appreciate that and also hit the notification bell so you won't miss my future videos see you in the next one thanks for watching cheers